I think going into that final series against Melbourne was the healthiest that our team had been for the whole of the season. I'm not going to say the most settled because we didn't have Glizzo on the lead up, but closest to the thing that we had settled as a lineup. Because of that, and because of the occasion, obviously we didn't turn up in game one, but what we saw for the remainder of that series, whether successful or not, was a level of intensity that we had never achieved. And what we've talked about in pre-season this year has been, can we replicate that? Can we get ourselves to that level without having to endure what we did, without having to overcome the obstacles, and without having to sort of step up to the occasion? That it's just part of who we are in our DNA. And that's where I want us to be as a group, for us to fulfill the potential that we have. Just 14 in game three. Plenty of time to manufacture a good shot. Sykes got away from Bubba. What about that? That man is all business this series. Creek pops out. He drives so with the right hand. That's a tough finish. What's Sam McDaniel going to do? Still a Melbourne ball. What a breakdown. That's a rungy cold. Instead, Golding. That hurts. They had their chances, but they'll have to settle for semi-finalists. Melbourne have been the benchmark all season long, and they're off to their third grand final in four seasons. They survive their biggest heart attack of the season. Oh, that just hurts. Like, yeah. Watching the game too, I've watched probably half that game, and my heart was racing, and then and sweaty like a teenager. Then you watch game three and like I just didn't want to watch it. Like it was really hard. You know, you gotta there's a reason why like there's so much intensity at practice sometimes from some of us older guys and you know there's a bit of bite about it. The only reason you should want to play basketball is to win championships and to compete against the best. When everyone's healthy, that's when you want to play and I just think relish the fact that we got to watch it as much as it hurts or as good as it makes you feel to go out and play but you know understand that the level's got to lift now because that's that's where it's at and that's why we all get on each other we all get frustrated and you know it comes from a place of good because that's what we want to get to because you don't want to repeat that feeling like that's the worst feeling as a competitor you know like I look at them now I just don't like them I've got nothing for them you know, I've lost to him twice now. You know, we should we should never have to feel that. So we just got to keep getting better. Each person has to create a winning environment and an environment of growth and kind of just professionalism every day. And I think if I don't set an example, I'm letting not just myself down, but I'm letting my teammates down. You know, I, I was signed here as the first player before Simon Mitchell was even a coach here. You know, people seem to forget that that was the case. Like Simon didn't get to choose me. I was given to Simon. And it was like, I hope this guy's all right. You know, I hope he's what I need because I don't know him. I didn't know Simon at all. I've only played against him as an assistant in Melbourne. We've got teams that can disrupt us. We don't want to be that team. Okay, you come and put a bit of pressure. Well, here's our counter, and we're still going to get what we want. So you've got to work through that pressure. Yeah, so okay. when it goes in, so say, oh, you're denied, yeah. sack it yeah, to me, pass it back, pump at him quick. And if he's overplaying you, send him up to that back right door, get it over the top. Yeah. Then we're out. I do think there's a part of last season where we were a bit friendly, we were a bit nice out here on the court, and you know, getting up and down, it was just like, oh, buddy, you know, oh, we're both four men, hey, we just take it easy, I'll box out, you box out, kind of thing. But we don't need that, you know, we know there's going to be great players out there, Cam Bairstow, Mason Peatling, you know, who are just relentless, you know, guys from other teams who aren't going to take a break, who aren't going to stop just because it's late in the third or late in the game. Um, 
we had to find that new level for each other. But it started in that final series. I really do think towards the end of the season, we started to grasp it and what we needed. There was a bit more intensity at training, but then in that final series, it was like, this is what we need to be. And this is what we're playing at. And this needs to be a baseline that we can find just in patches for now. And then we can put them and piece them together. But this season, I think we've definitely got more of that. There's a lot more chippiness in the group, but in a good way. We're so close off the court. We all get along so well. We all spend time together. And we've had to really drive in a bit of that. I don't like you because you're on white today or you're on dark or you're purple, like you. That's how we have to be because if we don't have that, we're not gonna push ourselves when it gets out to game time. So we're prepared more than we were last year, that's for sure. As much as I, I watch that and I feel like lost opportunity and, and that's how I felt since what you know had happened was the lost opportunity to kind of I've mourned that. But um, what, I, what I take from that video is more of a a solace of we can be that other team. We can be, we've got the dogs here to go and just grind a Kiefer Sykes into the ground, you know, to take away the wings and to protect that rim. We've got that, that group here. So as much as I was focused on us, I was actually watching Melbourne and thinking, damn, kind of looks like how we could be.